Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 29th of June 2022. And I had a simple job just now. I finished and it was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, converting a couple of single sockets into doubles, which is a simple enough job anyway, but uh, it's, it was in a plasterboard wall. So I used uh, dry line boxes in there, uh, which is a much easier job than having to uh, uh, get rid of uh, masonry and put in the normal kind of metal back boxes. Uh, so the whole job from start to finish only took me an hour when I was expecting it to take a bit longer than that. So I've got time to uh, uh, go through a few thoughts here. And coming back from that job to where I am here now, I went past this petrol station here, and yet yeah, there you go, two pounds a litre. First time I've seen that, well, near as damn it, sort of uh, one tenth of a penny off two pound a litre. Bearing in mind that that's litres and pounds, so I guess that would be eight pounds to a US gallon, uh, somewhere around that which is what, 10, $11 a gallon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is what we're having to pay for diesel here with petrol just being a little bit cheaper, but not a lot. So I always think when I see these rising prices, just how nice it would be to be completely self-sufficient and divorced from the system if you could generate your own fuel, your own heating, get your own food, get your own water and not really have to be reliant on the powers that shouldn't be at all. What a great position that would be to be in because then you could look at these rising fuel prices and uh, not be concerned at all. And it's something I'd dearly like to do. And with that in mind, I know it's only a very tiny start, but uh, uh, I harvested the rest of my radishes, the first ones I put in, as well as my first onion, which uh, that was literally bulging out the uh, the soil. So I got that out as well. And this is my little harvest. Already eaten some of them, uh, roasted up the onion and some of the radishes, uh, which as uh, couple of viewers suggested to do with a bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper and uh, yes really really delicious and I am thinking of pickling the rest of those radishes and the others I've got growing currently so um, yeah I'm just looking into how to do that as well the uh, you know the proper fermentation method rather than uh, you, you know sort of uh, using vinegar or anything like that apparently it's a lot better for you and for your gut and everything so just looking into that and if you've got any tips about fermenting and uh, pickling and all that uh, yeah please leave it in the comment section below I'd uh, be interested in reading that a couple of other observations I noticed that in Denmark Basically, it's their health minister has not only has he kind of stopped a certain treatment for anyone under 18, I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's any uh, child, uh, but he's admitted that it was a mistake to uh, do that to them in the first place which, well, we knew that from day one, didn't we? Like for me and you, uh, before day one, you know, just when they first started talking about it, let alone when they first started doing it. Uh, but it takes these geniuses ages after we realise the obvious for them to do so. Uh, but at least someone in a government has come to their senses and it looks like Denmark will not be administering the thing to anyone under 18. And if they've done it, I'm hoping that A, a lot more governments around the world will soon follow suit for that age group, the under 18s. And hopefully after that, they'll start saying really, uh, well, they'll extend it to pretty much all the other age groups until we get to the point 
in the not too distant future, I hope, where they're just saying, unless you're sort of very elderly, very frail, you know, don't bother getting these things. Uh, and that's uh, what they should have said from day one, but uh, uh, again, but hey ho. And I'll finish this video with a, I saw an episode in of the Stu Peters show in uh, one of my telegram groups, it just popped up and he was interviewing this Canadian guy who apparently he's an engineer or engineering consultant or he was and he put together a little team who worked on a document they've got which is currently being sent to pretty much every Canadian MP, government official, uh, police chief etc etc and it proved that the whole thing we've had over the last two and a half years ha as we've suspected has been a load of old nonsense and they have actually used uh, Canadian government figures to do so. So it's not opinion, it's not conjecture, it's not sort of putting two and two together and coming up with five or any of this other stuff that the likes of you and me are uh, accused of doing. It's they've, they've put this document together um, using purely Canadian government uh, sources, facts and figures. And when you kind of put it all together, it sort of just proves that the whole thing has been a complete and utter nonsense. And if that's the case with the Canadian government and the uh, their figures, you can bet your life that's going to be the same for, for the USA, uh, here in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and all the European countries, Ireland, France, Germany, etc., etc., and pretty much everywhere. Uh, so I thought that was very interesting. Unfortunately, I haven't got a link to it. It's very difficult to link things from, uh, you know, kind of telegram on, onto here. Uh, but it's basically a very recent um kind of Stu Peters show just from the last you know few days I think it would have been if I can find it and I, I can find the guy's name I will uh, talk about it in a, a future video but hopefully you can just go and find it watch the interview and um find the documents especially if you're in Canada then you can sort of send it to your MP over there as well Anyway, I thought that was very interesting and it's just another sign that everything's coming out now, everything's collapsing, uh, what with the Denmark thing, that Canadian thing, and I don't know, I just think the powers that shouldn't be are getting desperate, they they are trying it on again uh, with the, uh, the thing I was talking about in the last couple of videos, uh, how apparently um cases are on the rise once again um don't really know why they're even bothering because there's so many people out there now who know it's bs maybe it's just a probe a test to uh see how many people will still fall fall for the nonsense and how many people won't hopefully it'll be a lot of people who won't so on that thought i'm gonna uh, go and I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay now. Thanks for watching.